adding effects in Pixelmator Pro. There's a number of ways of doing this. How to add effects? Well, what you can do, you can go up here to Tools, and you can go down to Effects. But also you can go to Format, and you can go down here to Effects, and you've got a load of different options, so Bokka, say. And you can modify this effect, and you've got a lot of presets. You can just simply click and apply. You can also remove it very quickly as well by just clicking the dustbin. Also, you'll notice I've got an image layer selected. I'm applying the effect to this. So again, if I go here, add effect, that's another option, add effect. Got all these different effects. But you can also add it to an effect layer. How to add it to an effect layer? Simply go up here and you've got some options. You can see there you've got a lovely little dots there, but there's also a plus at the side there, and that adds an effect layer. So click, and straight away, you've got an effects layer. Now the effect is still applied, and you can still use it, but you're not applying it directly to this image layer. So here, effects, I can now go and add effect. Let's just go for one, like distortion, maybe bump, and you can see then, with this, I can modify it and create all kinds of effects. But the effect is only applied to this, and anything below is modified. So at any point, you can think, I don't have to have that. You can remove it very quickly. So if you don't want to see the effect, you can simply just click here, and the effect is removed. But it can be brought back very quickly just by reactivating it. And of course, you can apply multiple additional effects to this. So you can add another effect, so color adjustments, maybe this one. You've got this effect. Again, this is all added to this layer. So you could build up quite easily a load of effects layers. So maybe you've got your blur effects on one effects layer. You could also add all your distortion effects on another. So you can go up here again, plus. Now you've got this, you can always right click. And you've got options here for cutting and pasting, copying, all those sorts of things. You can also double click and you can edit this. So just call it distortion. So you can add distortion effects to that layer. So again, go over here, add effect, distortion, and this time circle splash and so on. So this effect is only on here. Other effects are on this one.